nice. Welcome to Malibu, Villa Francesca. Why we don't go outside? It's okay. Yeah. How you can see, hi, this is uh, Villa Francesca. And uh, we moved here uh, with my husband in uh, 24 years ago. Uh, I can't say so many things <laughs> because I am not good at that. Hello. <laughs> this is Francesca Harrison. I was born in Italy. I live here in Malibu uh, for 24 years now. So this is uh, our home. Uh, in Italy, I was uh, working in uh, a movie industry. Uh, excuse me, my English. <laughs> You see, when I say about the ocean, uh, that from here you don't see uh, the highway down below. You only see the green and the ocean. Today is not so very clear because it's a little foggy. But I use this house also for uh, special events. And uh, I always, when I can, I look for the full moon because it's uh, reflecting yeah. in the ocean and it's very beautiful that way. Look who's there. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> My husband, Richard Harrison. One of her husbands, she has several. No, He's it's becoming not Mormon. It's not true. <laughs> I'm only the second wife for 34 years. The first one doesn't count. first one was a warm up. This is, see, this is, this is with me different ages. You know, young boy here, young, other different movies I made, war films, 007s, westerns, gladiator, all these things. This is me when I was 18, 19 years old. Hello, my name is Richard Harrison. Welcome to my home here in Malibu. Um, I've been asked to tell you a little bit about my acting career. Well, first of all, I was in, I was under contract to a couple of studios, uh, 20th Century Fox and American International Pictures. During that time, I was offered to go to Italy for a three-picture contract, and I jumped to the chance because I'd always wanted to go to Italy and Europe. So when I got there, I did the first film, which was the Il Gladiatore Invincibile, and it did very well. And I didn't know I was going to stay for a long time, but I ended up staying basically for 20 years, not in Italy, but I had homes there in Spain, etc. And I traveled to 42 countries working in films. It was wonderful. It was the greatest education a person could ever ask for. And uh, I, I loved it. I loved uh, the culture of, of uh, Europe and all over. I mean, each country you always learn something. When I was in Europe, and especially Italy, I was like going to a university because I loved the culture there. And I have to say, I learned a lot. I worked in 42 countries, and each country I was able to learn something. Um, it's amazing, each, each country has their own culture and there's a reason for the culture. So you learn that, uh, that 
where you're born doesn't mean it's better or worse, but you learn to, to get the ideas of other people and why, how they think differently. And I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Uh, talking about, I think I learned so much doing these films because, you know, if you want to learn about cinema, you have to do it. You can study all you want, you can go to uh, classes, but when you're actually working, you find it's quite different. And that's the reason I was able to do a little directing. I directed a few of my films. Uh, I had my own production company, wrote the scripts and uh, produced. They were small films, but they were interesting. And you found out how difficult it is to do a, a film that makes money. You might want to do certain things of your own, but they're not what the public wants. And let's face it, cinema, it may, I don't know if it's an art form or not, it's really a form to make money and to give entertainment. So I learned that uh, making the films, if you don't make a film that the public wants and they don't go see it, you're not going to make very many more films. So I enjoy personally, like many people, I think I love documentaries, uh, I love the old films, I love to see back in the 50s and that and 40s when you had the Actors usually came from England and they spoke beautiful English and they dressed beautifully. And I think a lot of people still see these films and they, that's the idea they have in the United States. I think a lot of people are a little disappointed when they come here and they see people wearing just t-shirts and Levi's and uh, not speaking a beautiful King's English or Queen's English, whichever you prefer. And uh, life is so different now and I know that like I say, oh, it's not like it used to be. But I know the young people today will be saying the same thing. They'll be saying, oh, life's not like it used to be. Because we're used to a different way of life.